Welcome back, fellow YouTubers. Come big to you another Dust 514 gameplay commentary coming at ya. I didn't get any negative responses from the last Dust gameplay video, so I guess you guys either enjoyed it or just didn't watch it. Whatever the case may be, like I said before, the game is free to play. It is a PS3 exclusive. So screw you, uh, Xbox and PC guys. This one's for us. No, just kidding. I love you all the same. I don't care what console you play on. But I've been playing Dust for... The past week or two now, off and on. I'm starting to have fun with it now. I figured out the whole uh, weapon and suit fitting confusion I spoke of in the last video. So I now have better weapons. Well, I have a better weapon. I've got a kick ass sniper rifle that'll pick your ass off across the map, so don't fuck with me. I will get you. And I figured out, well, Ninja and I figured out how to get into a game together because it's not as easy. As clicking on your PSN friend's name and hitting join because you can have a separate name for your Dust character other than your PSN name, which is cool until you try to find your friends that have a different name than their PSN name. We didn't know this at the time, so I'm trying to find Ninja and I can't find him. He's a fucking ninja. <laughs> no, but we figured it out finally. He told me what his name was in the game. I found him. And we got into a game lobby together. Which in the game lobby you can walk around and change your suit fittings and your weapon fittings and whatnot. But we're walking around because we don't have anything to mess with yet. Because <laughs> we have all the starter shit. And we see this guy walking around the lobby. I got the bright idea to be a dick and follow him. And then Panda, or not Panda, Ninja cuts him off in front and we trap him in a corner. And the only thing that I can think of, because he's bouncing back and forth between the two of us because he can't get out of this corner, but all I can think of was Night at the Roxbury. That's right, we pulled the Night at the Roxbury skit on him in the lobby. It was awesome, it was epic. I wish I had it on video. Maybe we'll try to do it again sometime. And record it for you guys, but it was fucking hilarious. And if you haven't seen Night at the Roxbury, it's one of my all time comedy favorites. It's got Will Ferrell and uh, I forget the other guy, but they're both from Saturday Night Live back in the day. Gotta check it out. It's right up there with Grandma's Boy, maybe even a notch higher than Grandma's Boy. Awesome movie. Go check it out. Speaking of Ninja. I have got to get him on a dual commentary. The two of us together are a freaking riot. Especially after a few drinks into the night. We're a little bit funnier than normal. Maybe it's just because I am a few more drinks into the night. Either way, I think you guys would enjoy a dual commentary. So if you guys want one, uh, give us 10 or more likes on this video. 10 or more likes, comment down below what you'd like us to do a commentary on. And we will bring it to you. But 10 or more likes, and it's yours. In other gaming news, LAPD stormed an independent gaming studio on Thursday. The studio is ran by a former Infinity Ward employee, Robert Bowling. Bowling had his studio installed with a panic button. Can we see where this is going already? But he had this button installed. And one day... At the end of the day, all the employees were leaving for the day except for him. And this one smart guy decides to push his button, not knowing what it did. I mean, what guy can resist a button, right? It's a button. Push it. See what happens. Well, nothing happened. He left along with everybody else in the office for the day. LAPD was then dispatched to the location and were met by Simon Ghost Riley in the window with an assault rifle. If you don't know Simon Riley, he is the Modern Warfare 2 main character. Um, and though it wasn't the real ghost, but a statue that Bowling brought from the former or from the uh, Infinity Ward studio, LAPD then stormed the building, taking Mr. Bowling into custody, sweeping the rest of the building just to find that the armed man was actually a statue. Bowling was later then released, and no charges were filed against him. Or the uh, employee that pushed the button. I don't know. I think it's fucking hilarious. He thought it was too. He had a few laughs with the uh, SWAT team. I'm sure the uh, dude that pushed the button 
had a few laughs. He hell, he probably had more laughs than anybody. Or hell, who knows? Maybe Mr. Bowling pushed a button himself to see if it worked. Who knows? I don't. Either way, it's fucking hilarious. But that's all I got for this commentary. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that likey button down there. Maybe favorite if you have really enjoyed it. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you know when I have new content up. Plus it helps me out in the long run. The more, subscri the, the more subscribers I have, the better. Uh, also, leave me some comments down below. I like to inter inter uh, interact with my audience. It's fun. It lets me know that you guys are actually watching. It lets me know what you guys want. Um, yeah, so do that stuff, man. Come on, help me out. <laughs> help me help you. The more stuff you let me know, the better I can make these videos. But until next time, this is Convict saying indecisiveness is just a form of flexibility. See you later.